breaking news from overnight. We've learned the man who's accused in that $15 million warranty deed scam is now wanted again. This is video of Timothy Willard in his arrest on Monday, but then he later bonded out of jail. ABC 13's Charlie at City Live with the newest twist in this one. Charlie. Good morning, Jacob. Well, we know that uh, Willard is facing a felony charge in this case and was supposed to have shown up to court here on Wednesday, but apparently did not show up. And so now there is a warrant out for his arrest. And so this all comes just a few days after he was initially arrested in this case. You see that video there up on your screen that was taken on Monday. And so he was arrested after a year long investigation into a real estate scam where he allegedly profited $15 million. So he is charged with first degree felony of forgery and aggregate theft greater than $300,000. A judge issued a personal recognizance bond, meaning that he did not have to pay any money to get out of jail. He just had to show up to court. Willard would allegedly target property around Houston that was already paid off and didn't have any have any liens and forge documents to show that he was the actual owner. He then would upload these false documents online to the county clerk's website and then would relist the property under his name, sell the property and then collect all the money. So far, investigators have uncovered three victims, including his own father, who says that the sale of his property was done without his consent. A realtor who had sold property Willard allegedly tried to target, he was the one who tipped off investigators. So listen here, he shared some advice on how you can protect yourself. I would suggest perhaps setting up a routine to go into HCAT and check your property and make sure it's still listed as your name, in the same way that you might pull your credit every six months. And so you heard him mention HCAT. That's an acronym for the Harris County Appraisal District. So you can actually go on their website and check your property records online, of course, to make sure that everything that you own is actually under your own name. Charlie Ed City, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Thank you so much, Charlie.